Hi guys, I hope for a while. In this video, I want to discuss what you should do if you're new to the gym and you want to start a fat loss phase. I think the first and most important thing you need to consider is just to appreciate that consistency and adherence are the most important factors within a fat loss phase. And because you're new to the gym, because you're new to a fat loss phase, it's very easy to basically try and do too much to begin with. And therefore, you can't be consistent with it. You can't adhere to the plan over a long period of time. And therefore, you're just going to give up. So because of this, I would suggest erring on the side of caution and being conservative and starting with maybe less days training to begin with because again, adherence and consistency is, consistency is the most important factor in the fallows phase. And if you can start building momentum for a few weeks on say, for example, a three on or a four day per week routine, then you can start making things a little bit more optimal down the road. So that's the most important thing I want you to focus on is actually just being consistent. Even if what you're doing to begin with isn't the most optimal way to achieve your fat loss goals, as I mentioned, consistency and adherence is the most important factor. Once you start building momentum, then you can start making things more optimal over time. Second thing to think about is just weight training should be the foundation of your routine to maintain muscle mass within the fat loss phase. Remember, we have two goals in the fat loss phase, losing body fat and maintaining as much muscle mass as possible. So focusing on, for example, a three day per week routine, a full body routine or four day routine, maybe an upper lower, upper lower. So Google both of those routines. You'll be able to find several different template programs you can start implementing. So once you have that in place, I'd suggest finding an online calculator and setting some daily nutrition targets and then plugging these into MyFitnessPal and using MyFitnessPal to basically track your food intake to meet the daily targets you've created via these online calculators. Now it's important to note that these online calculators are not 100% accurate, but that's not really the point of them. The point of them is just to give you a starting point to work from. Remember, it's really important to note that your calories need to be manipulated within a fat loss phase. There'll be plateaus within the fat loss phase, and that's really your cue to make changes by dropping calories and or increasing expenditure from more cardio. Appreciating that these figures are just a starting point to work from to make changes from. So don't panic if they're not 100% accurate. So once you have those two components in place, then you can start adding cardio as a tool to basically increase the amount of calories you're burning on a weekly basis to help to create the energy deficit need for fat loss. Good place to start would be to add, if you're starting the three day per week routine, maybe some free hit sessions at the end of each weight training session, or if you're starting four day per week routine, four hit sessions at the end of the weight training. Now it's really important to note that because we want to maintain as much muscle mass as possible in the fat loss phase, it's worthwhile placing these hit sessions after the weight training component. Otherwise you'll be weak within the weight training sessions, therefore you'll lose more muscle mass within the fat loss phase. You could do sprints on the treadmill, you could do sprints on the rowing machine or, or the bike. Or you could also do some circuits as well. You're doing short bursts of intense activity, resting, then repeating. Once you have those components in place, the weight training, small amount of cardio, and the nutrition targets, then, a case, then it's a case of measuring your progress and then making changes when you reach a plateau. Appreciating that plateaus are normal, and your goal is really to lose 0.5 to 1% weight loss per week because this will allow you to maintain more muscle mass within the fat loss phase. As soon as you don't reach that target, that's your cue to basically drop calories and or increase expenditure from more cardio. So if you see some other videos, I talk about more of the specific size changes, how to make the specifics change your nutrition and or cardio to bust through the fat loss plateau. But hopefully that's been useful. Hopefully that should give you a good overview of how to start a fat loss phase if you're an absolute beginner and you're new to the gym. Remember that adherence is the most important factor. Therefore being consistent over a long period of time is really the most important factor in the fat loss phase. And as such, focus on maybe less days training to begin with to build some momentum. And then you can make things more optimal by adding more days training within the future. So hopefully that's been useful. Like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I look forward to speaking to you soon. Take care.